Hey guys, it's Let Your Light Shine. I am currently in Brea, California, and behind me you may see a walking trail or a bike trail. But, don't be fooled, it used to be a railroad train track. That's right. And it was abandoned forever, and now Brea decided to make it into a walking trail and bike trail, which is smart. But this railroad tracks used to be owned by the Pacific Electric Railway. So, we'll check it out. Currently, Brea is going through phases right now, so not, the whole entire walking trail is not complete. And if you see in front of me over here with the green fence line, that is under construction. The train tracks are gone now, but the um, they're creating this particular road for it right now. So it's all closed off, but I'll peek in because there's a entryway for a tractor to go through, and so I am going to peek through myself. But a little history. This line, tra uh, tracks, Pacific Electric, was originally constructed in the early 1910s. And so that's back then, it was the citrus groves and oil fields. Which we are in Brea, and so yeah, there's a lot of oil fields out in this uh, town. And it was paralleled to the south side of Imperial Highway for their intermost three miles. Eventually the oil fields closed and the citrus groves were replaced with houses, schools, churches, businesses. And the line was cut back to a freight customer. And uh, basically, it, and here we are now, abandoned, and now it's they made something out of it, which I think is a great idea. So, it ends over at the Yorba Linda area, and I've done a vlog of that area, but I will stop there again and show you and I have some old pictures I will compare from uh, what the train depot looks like now and what it used to look like all right some more facts for you while we walk this trail and actually let me see this is what behind me but it says the Pacific Electric nicknamed the red cars was a privately owned mass transit system in so Southern California, consisting of electronically powered streetcars, interurban cars, and buses, and was the largest electric railway system in the world in the 1920s. Organized around the city centers of Los Angeles and San Bernardino, it connected cities in LA County, Orange County, San Bernardino County, and Riverside County. All right, now I'm gonna walk across the street and show you the under construction area and uh, what it will become. I want to catch it before I caught it too late when it wasn't fenced off not too long ago, about a year ago. And not too long ago after that, there was tracks there. So I kind of missed that part. But I want to not miss this construction part because I think by the end of this year, it'll be like this. So let's check it out. Okay, so. That's where the tracks used to be. It's amazing the history. Just imagining the red cars going down this track, down this path. In fact, actually, when you pass the bridge and you cross the street, it takes you to Birch Hills Golf Course now. So before I used to go, back in the day, it would go straight through that. So I'm going to show you some old pictures of a map right now. I can imagine back in the day. It goes this way, all the way this way. And it would stop at your Belinda, and that's where we are going to go next.
Hey guys, I'm still in Brea, and before I leave, I wanted to show you a little more train stuff. And I just talked to a lady who just walked out of the caboose, because it's a home loan office. It used to be a winery, actually. And she told me some more history about these tra trains, because it's not, the, the track did not come here. That's why I was like, I'm a little confused, because I've seen the, the tracks on the map, and it doesn't come here, and I'm off Brea Boulevard and Imperial Highway, and so, um, anyway, I'll tell you more about that in a second. First off, I've seen this on the streets. So I had to check it out. I'm like, what the heck is this? So apparently, in, in the shopping center across from me is called the Gateway Shopping Center. So, from what she was saying, there was a Gateway Station, so that's what this is. But all these relics were placed here. So the track wasn't right here, but it's placed here for show, but they're actual old trains and old luggage carts. And so this caboose here, what happened was the Union Pacific was auctioning off their cabooses for pretty cheap. And some people bought it about 50, 60 years ago, maybe even longer. They bought about five of them and just placed them in certain areas. So this is one of them. And then she said the other one's in your Belinda, which I will show you, or you've already seen, because I've done other vlogs about it. And I'm gonna show you the luggage carts as well. And actually I see some old wine barrels from the old wine stop. So it's kind of cool that he did even like a little train crossing. And it's not like he built these to make them look like actual, you know, look like a train thing. It's actual stuff that he bought that used to be part of the trains. So it's kind of neat to look, like, look at some old relics that were the real deal. So here's another train cart. In fact, a long time ago I found a geocache under that thing. The tracks also were purchased and placed here. So those aren't the original spot for these tracks. So yeah, before we headed back to Yorba Linda, I wanted to do a pit stop over here since I was in Brea. So, gotta check this stuff out, you know? Here's some more train tracks. Ooh. I thought that was just a cart, like a golf cart on there, but that's an actual cart for train tracks. That's different. That'd be fun. Right. So some old wine barrels, old luggage carts. That's pretty neat. Oh, wow. Wine on the go. What am I perching myself on this little train cart. How fun is that? It's interesting to think of all the history of, or the energy, seeing these things on the track at one time. by itself. St. Louis. Huh. Alright, now we go off to Yorba Linda and see the old train depot, which is now a Polly's Pies. Alright, alright, alright. We're now in Yorba Linda, California. And this is where the train ended. The Pacific Electric train. Not this one. Don't be fooled again. But I'm going to show you behind me is Polly's Pies, and that was the old train depot. So for the longest time I had thought the tracks were on the back side, this way. But from the picture I see, and I'll show it to you as well, it shows the tracks are on this side where the street is.
So Polly's Pies is located off Lemon Drive and Imperial Highway. And the Pacific Electric, okay, so they ended here by way of La Habra and Berea area, but it said the company had hoped to extend their tracks on out to Santa Ana Canyon to connect with their Inland Empire lines, but the link was never built, unfortunately. And Santa Ana Canyon is uh, continuing down this way, past the freeway, the 91 freeway, and then Santa Ana Canyon. So, but back then the 91 freeway did not exist. So, I don't know if that helps you if you don't live in this area. <laughs> but I thought I'd tell you anyway. If I can find some old historic aerial maps, I'm definitely going to post them here as well. All right, same thing like we saw in Brea, the luggage carts. I didn't realize that it was the same owner that bought like these cabooses for real cheap and just placed them. And he gave this one to the city of Yorba Linda. And right behind me is a Janeway house, which is one of the oldest houses in Yorba Linda that they were going to demolish and they decided they were going to try to restore it, which it doesn't look restored to me, but it's not demolished, so I guess it's a, I don't know. So I wouldn't say it's a win-win yet, but it's not a, a lose situation, if that makes any sense. Found a cash on this one too. In fact, I could have sworn these used to be open where you could walk through them, but maybe not. It's all boarded up too. I think it's a pretty cool thing that the guy, the owner bought these and just, you know, these are real. These aren't just, let's make them to look like the real thing. I mean, these are the real thing. And these actually did go on tracks and carried luggage and whatever else. They had a purpose. I'm guessing that these tires because they don't look like tires that you would see on a track. Oh, so they must have been placed on top of that maybe to preserve the metal. I wish I knew. Apologize. And so this also confused me because I thought that was like the original track and that was, you know, the depots right here. And that was the train that would go past this depot. And that's not the case. The Pacific Electric, the, the red cars went down this track. And it was this way, on this side. Now it's a town with streets and cars. And who knows, somebody might vlog this area years from today and, and it might be hover cars, spaceships. I have no idea. <laughs> and they'll be saying, oh, remember the day when this used to be a highway and cars used to go down? <laughs> who knows? All right, I'm walking on the opposite side of the Polly's Pies, so you can see it on this view. You'll notice in that old picture that this building is also in the background. It's a pretty big building. I was looking all over the place for some kind of historic landmark because I saw it in the, the library book, but I don't have that with me. I believe, if I'm correct, it used to be the first bank. Looks like an old bank too. I mean, today's day, but in past times as well. And then here is the train depot from this side. Okay guys, I'm at home right now. I'm, I'm on the Historic Aerials website. I was gonna just take pictures, but I thought, you know, this might be cool just to kind of do this like this. I can show you it live here. Okay, so here was the train station near Belinda, which is also now Polly's Pies. This is now Imperial Highway. Actually, I can show you Yeah, this is, this is 1946. Um, I'll show you the track. This is what it looks like today, or well, 2012 was the most recent, okay? So here's Polly's Pies. This is where we were at the end. 
and I'm going to walk you through the track. Okay, so this is where the track started or ended. And I'll and see here, we just follow it all the way along. And I'm going to show you where we were earlier today in Brea. Now it keeps going past Brea, obviously, but I was just in that area. And so I was off the streets of State College and Birch, between Birch and Lambert, really. So as it keeps going, in fact, I'm going to show, I'm going to go back to a newer version so I can see the actual street name. So hang on. Okay, here we are. I had to zoom out just a bit. All uh, the street names show up when I zoomed out. So uh, the SR90 is what I'm looking at, which is kind of crazy because it, okay, here we go. It's right here. I was going to say it almost looked like it was the actual line of the train track, but no, here it is right here. So it just keeps going like in a diagonal direction here. And I was here on Birch. I was a little bit past, here we are, State College. I was right here. All right, I flipped over to the 2012, the newest uh, date, because it kept showing me just a black screen over here. But you can still see the, tra the track line. Now it's gone, but it, they haven't built the the walk path yet, but that's where we were today. It's right here and right here. Okay, here we are. Earlier today, I started my video right here off State College, and I was walking that way, and then I walked back. Well, I, I couldn't go this way because they're building right here. They're making that into the bike path, but this was the old train track line right here. This is dated 1952. That was the earliest I could see on this map. And this is 2012, which you still see. There's no track anymore, but it's not a walkway because they just started that recently. I would say 2016, and they're still working on it. They're doing phases. So, yeah. It's kind of cool to check out these historic aerial maps and just kind of see what it was like back then and what things looked like. Unfortunately, they, this one doesn't go back past 1952, so, but that's all right. It's still, wow, nothing was, look at that. There was like nothing but fields. That's crazy. Now it's all built up. I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more fun stuff. That's right, I change it up all the time, so hope you learned something or two. Bye.